I can't believe I'm out. I can't believe I'm here you mean, with you in Italy, huh? <laughs> yeah, me either. Just wish the circumstances were less tense, you know? Uh, well. Well, the sights are a bit more enjoyable that way. Oh, uh, so this, this isn't your first time here? No, it's more like uh, third. Had a couple of odd jobs. With Sullivan? Well, yeah. <laughs> okay. There's no way up under that bridge. Well, there's that exposed beam underneath. Oh, you think you can rope it? Do I think I can rope it? <laughs> Watch this. I'm watching. I, uh... I missed. <laughs> no, see, it's, uh, it's all in the wrist. Here, let me see it. See? Yeah, it's not bad. For a second attempt. Here we go. You see that? Oh, like a pro. It's your turn. Okay, so where to next? Hey. We can swing off that beam up there. Uh, definitely. Hey, let's switch places. All right, climb over me. I've, I've got a good grip. Okay. Okay, here we go. <laughs> First try. All right, no one likes a show off. Okay, come on, Nathan. It looks like you can uh, climb down and make your way over. Right behind you. attraverso un tubo e forse non potrà più camminare. Ah, bene gli sta. Ehi, hey, è scommesso sulla partita. Inghilterra vincente. Inghilterra, traditore. Ehi, hey, non confondere l'orgoglio nazionale con la realtà. Ok, we're good. Jesus, did you see him? That Renner thug was packing some serious heat. Shut up our guns. Sam, we're gonna pull this off so smoothly we won't need them. I hope you're right. <sighs> All those years. It's the little things that you miss the most. Like what? The smell of fresh citrus. Uh, 
Riding the motorcycle, it's little things, but they add up. Look, there's that window. That should hold. <clears throat> All right, come on down. Landing's a little more painful than I remember. <clears throat> yeah, tell me about it. So, uh, your other wonderful finds, uh, the ones I missed, you at least take any pictures? I wish. Elena filmed some of it, but camera didn't make it. That's too bad. I have some drawings, though. When we get back, I'll show you. You have drawings? What, are they up on the fridge or something? No, I, they're good drawings. I can't wait. Ah, this looks promising. I think you mean precarious. <clears throat> Shit! You okay up there? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Suck if you missed right now. And sure would. <clears throat> but I don't miss. million bucks. Let's go. All right, I'm right behind you. Sully? Know what I love about partying with a bunch of crooks? What's that? Nobody cares if you smoke indoors. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a while. Too long, boy. Oh. You remember my dead brother, right? 
Victor? I'll be goddamn. Fifteen years. Yep. Good to see you alive, Sam. Mm -hmm. let's, uh, let's try keeping him alive by getting this cross, huh? Yeah, uh, about that. What, what about that? Come on, let me show you something. Take a look. That's Avery's cross. They brought it out of storage just before you guys got here. They changed the lot order. Take a whole pile of cash to make that happen. All right, well, how long before they start the bidding? 10, 15 minutes tops. Well, there's got to be some way we can grab it. <laughs> there is just a small matter of a few hundred eyewitnesses okay, down there. Okay, but we just need a diversion. Like? Like, um... Like, I don't know. But there's got to be something. Well, if the guards see us <laughs> make it for that cross... But they don't see us. Jesus, you guys act like you never spend time in prison. If you want something dirty done, then you wait for, for lights, lights out. out. Yeah. Where's that electrical panel for this place? Anyone else? There's ventilation. Electrical. That's it up here. So we just have to climb up there and kill the lights. Grab the cross in the dark. There will be an emergency generator. That'll give us a few seconds of darkness to work with. Meaning we'll have to be right next to the cross when the lights go out. So there's no way we can get that close without being noticed. Scusate, signore. Mm. Antipasti? Mosa. Hi. Who are you? Ciao. Would you focus? Where it wouldn't get noticed. That could work. Huh? That will work. <laughs> All right. All right, I'll, I'll get to the breaker room and kill the power. You mean I'm the waiter? You're the best pickpocket. Right. You head down to the floor, keep your eye on the prize, okay? I just know if anything uh, hinky goes down. Roger that. All right. Listen, we still got this. Ready? Ready. All right, follow me. I'll cut through the cellar. I gotta say, Victor, the years have been kind to you. Thanks. I chucked that to go and be. Pardon me? Hell no. So, what are you doing? I'm just going over our exit strategy. It's gonna get hairy. <laughs> Look, relax. We've pulled up tougher heist than this. Yeah, I know, I know. I just. Try not to imagine what they'll do if they catch us. Sam, if things go bad, we'll be dead long before they catch us. That's a comforting point. Yeah. You see, I thought I had a reasonable grasp of French, or at least a passable French accent. But then a few months back, I'm with my girlfriend by the Pompidou Center. I've just sold them those pieces we, uh, yeah, obtained last year. You know, those hanging, all thing, I don't know, abstract art shit. Anyway, we walk out <coughs> past that giant ice pack. What is that thing, anyway, right? And we see this quick vendor outside the that was just through there. Let's go. Let's go. So this place is fancy. Of course they play douchey European techno. Read the spots.
You see that? Key card, back left pocket. Yep. I'm on it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You sure you want to do that? There's a lot of eyes out here. I think I can handle a simple lift. All right. trying yet. Yeah, I can tell. Oh, so close. I'm just being extra careful. Well, don't. Some pointers? No, just warming up, that's all. Okay. Okay. What do you say we just run it like the old days, okay? I do the interference, you make the grab, right? Yeah. Pleasure to watch professionals at work. Okay. All right. Let's try this again. We'll still need these. Great. Good luck. We'll be in touch. Hands in the air. Hi, Victor. Hello, Nadine. <laughs> Pleasure to see you again. Only this time, I've got the drop on you. Well, I guess I should be glad that's not a real gun. <laughs> Hardly recognize you out of your fatigues. Yeah. You know how it is. Every once in a while, a job requires us to get all dolled up. Looking sharp, by the way. Not too bad yourself. You're so out of place here. Can't tell you what a relief it is to run into another English speaker. Even if you are American. They'll have to blame my parents for that one. <laughs> I was on my way to the bar. Can I get you something? Yeah, scotch. On the rocks. Be right back. Date? You catch all that? Yes, I did. Sounds like a lady's trying to buy you a drink. Yeah, Nadine Ross is buying me a drink. Ross. Wait, doesn't she own that army for hire? Is it called Coastline? Shoreline. Yeah, right. But you had a run in with them. It's funded mildly. Fortunately, she does not seem to be holding a grudge. I'm good to go here. All right. Listen, we're all set, Sully. You uh, stay out of trouble, okay? I'll try. You ready? <laughs> yeah. 
Let's do it. You gotta find where the waiters and caterers are hanging out. And yeah, lure one out of the kitchen, probably. Then let's go find the kitchen. Man, there's enough food down here to feed a small town. I wonder if they host weddings. Oh, yeah, they're a full service site. Weddings, bar mitzvahs, black market auctions. But do they have a DJ? Crap. You see a waiter in there? Nah, just more heavily armed goons. What the hell is this? Escape wasn't on the blueprint. Locked, of course. Okay, plan B. I told you, it's locked. Trust, but verify. And it's locked. Right. There you go. I see some fence up there. Nathan, come check this out. Let there be light. Bad electrical in this joint. <sighs> Don't suppose you brought a... Yeah, that'll do. I guess it's always a good idea to bring a smoker along. Unless you need to run. Oof. Man, I'm starting to get a little drunk off the fumes in here. Oh, good thing Sully's driving. Maybe the vent access is behind these casks. That's a lot of really rare vintage. Yeah, maybe Alcazar can just settle for some good wine. <laughs> that's something tells me that's not gonna fly. Dead end. Hey, uh, she'll be worried that Victor is chatting up Nadine Ross. I mean, I've heard some pretty scary stories about her crew. Yeah, don't worry about Sully. Guy can talk his way out of anything. It's our way out. 
Yep. Let's find something to climb on. Yeah, I got it. No need to give me a hand or anything. I'm holding the lighter. Hold the lighter. Okay, up we go. Right there. That's smaller than it looked, huh? <coughs> A lot more dusty. Cosa portiamo a quell'odioso miliardario tedesco? quella roba sul naso. Tanto non capirete la differenza. Sai che è questa gente? Questa gente metteremo di calcio al culo perché questa gente ci ha pensato. Crap. Ok. Ok. Fresh air, here we come. Check this out. You see that building with the radio tower? You mean the cell tower? What? Whatever. Listen, that's the power room. Yeah, you're right. Let's see how we get past this gate. Sam, up here. I'll boost you up. All right. All right. Good thing you kept in shape. Sully, we just got out of the wine cellar, heading to the power room now. How's it looking? Sully? You there? Ah, that must be a bad spot for a signal. Hopefully he's doing okay. In the kitchen, and of course, it's locked. Sam, look, maybe we can use that, find a window, drop into the kitchen. That's a good idea. I'll boost you up, and you take care of the ladder. Sera. Ma che sta facendo? Easy on the civilians, Sam. What? Right. So he wakes up with a headache in his underwear. We've both been there before, right? <laughs> right. Well, 
I got mine. You get yours. All right. 